So Enamorous is here all the way from Hasui being the new addition to the Weather Trio. Let's go ahead and jump into the counters, the moves, and how it's gonna be standing within the ranks in the game. So Enamorous is gonna be a fairy and flying type, and it is gonna have a 281 for attack, a 162 for defense, and a 179 for a stamina. It's gonna max out at a CP at 3,874. Just shy of 4,000, but still up there, and it is gonna have a unique move set, which can actually do some damage if you're not prepared for it. From the raids, you are gonna be looking for a 1957 for the 100% CP non-weather boosted, and then weather boosted in the cloudy and windy weather, you will be looking for a 2,447. So be on the lookout for those. Those are gonna be pretty good that you're gonna wanna be going for. Since Enamorous is gonna be a dual typing with that fairy and flying type, it is gonna be vulnerable to electric, ice, rock, poison, and steel type moves. So lots of weaknesses, but it is gonna be resisting fighting dragon bug and two times resist the dark and grass type moves. So already you can go ahead and think Mega Tyranitar is out of the counters. Don't think about bringing him, it's gonna be a bad idea. Now for moves, we do have fast move of Fairy Wind, Astonish, and Zen Headbutt. Great fast moves, charge moves of Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, and Fly, which are great moves. Dazzling Gleam is gonna be your go-to move for a Fairy type. Now this Pokemon does have the signature move of Springtide Storm in the main series games, just like Landorus and them have theirs. This one does have Springtide Storm. Doesn't seem to be getting it right off the bat. Maybe it'll get it later down the road when it comes to the shiny being released as well. But since it is a fairy and flying type ranking in the fairy type only, it is gonna be ranked third with Fairy Wind and Dazzling Gleam only behind two Megas, Mega Diancie and Mega Gardevoir, which is actually pretty good. It's gonna be a very good fairy type attacker doing lots of damage being all around her, you're gonna to wanna to pick that up if you are wanting a fairy type raid mod. In the flying category, it is again gonna be ranked third for damage output only behind Rayquaza and Mega Rayquaza, which is honestly very solid. This Pokemon is gonna be a very good one to pick up in either of those categories to go ahead and do more damage. The moves there are gonna be Fairy Wind and Fly, which is actually the highest damage output for this Pokemon. Once you do get a second charge move, go ahead, slap on that Dazzling Gleam, and you're gonna be perfectly fine doing lots of damage. Go ahead, being able to cover your Fairy and Flying and not having a problem. So that's gonna be a good lookout for a Meta Raid attacker being the Flying and Fairy type, pretty much the same typing as Togekiss, but doing more damage. If you are into PVP, so the Go Battle League, it will be, as of right now, ranked in the Master League at 47. We're looking at a Fairy Wind, Fly, and Dazzling Gleam at a 15, 15, 15. So the exact same thing you want for the meta raids, you would want actually in the Go Battle League. Not sure how long it's gonna be sitting up there, but it can mix it up a little bit, being that fairy type, maybe overriding some Xerneas's. So those are the moves. Let's go ahead and jump into some counters. Now, starting off with counters, you can probably already guess this one. It is gonna be a Shadow Metagross with Bullet Punch Meteor Mash. All these Pokemon that are Shadow can be used in their normal form as well. We do have Shadow Rampardos, which is Smackdown Rock Slide. That's gonna be a great rock type attacker. And you can go ahead and pick that up from a Team Go Rocket Grunt that is using rock type Pokemon. We have Shadow Rhyperior with Smackdown Rock Wrecker. Shadow Raikou with Thunder Shock Wild Charge. That is gonna be an electric type Pokemon. Zerkatree, which is Thunder Shock Discharge. Great Pokemon. And then if you wanna go the ice way, you can go ahead and go Shadow Mamoswine, which is always a great Pokemon in raids no matter what, with Powder Snow Avalanche. I love using ice type, so Mammoth Swine, I actually have a very good one. So I'm most likely gonna be using it. For some top megas though, we could be looking at a Mega Gengar with Lick and Sludge Bomb. Great for the poison types. But then we do have Mega Diancie with Rock Throw, Rock Slide, being able to boost all rock type Pokemon and go ahead and give you the boost to the Candy Gans. And then Mega Aerodactyl. So Mega Aerodactyl with Rock Throw, Rock Slide, is gonna be great because you can boost candy gains on the flying side and boost rock type Pokemon 
Keep in mind though, do not use Mega Tyranitar. Mega Tyranitar is an amazing rock type attacker, but in this raid, since he is a dark type, he is gonna be very, very put down because of the fairy typing that Enamorous has. So watch out for that. If you are gonna be using something that is boosting rock, go with the Diancy, go with the Aerodactyl. Huge uses there, very good uses. Go ahead and use those guys as counters. But for weather boosts, we are gonna be looking at rainy weather, which is gonna be boosting all electric types. So very good there if you are trying to hit the electric side. We do have windy weather, which is gonna be boosting the raid CP and flying type Pokemon. So very good here for the Mega Aerodactyl and just simply getting a higher CP. And then we do have snowy weather, which you might be having. We have ice and steel type Pokemon being boosted there. So Metagross and Mamoswine will be doing more damage. We do have partly cloudy weather, which is gonna be boosting all rock type Pokemon, which is gonna be huge because it is gonna be super weak to rock. And then cloudy weather is gonna be boosting all raid CPs. So it's gonna be boosting that fairy side of it, as well as boosting fairy and poison type moves like that Gengar. Gengar being able to do massive amounts of damage since it is essentially a giant glass cannon. But those are the weather boosts, some counters, the CPs, and the moves that is gonna be coming with. What do you think Enamorous is gonna be doing in the game? Do you think it's gonna be mixing up the meta at all for raid attackers or not? Let me know in the comment section down below. While you're down there, go ahead, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.